Welcome back to SMKR. This is Steve. Up next will be a review from E2046. And I received this in the mail from Hong Kong the other day. And you can see it was it was overwrapped with uh, some uh, wrapping paper. And uh, there's a little bit of a damage here to the box. But let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. damage on the inside, as you can see. There you have it. Um, I received this from E246 and uh, it's WW WE246.com on the World Wide Web. Check out their site. They have numerous uh, model kits out there, Japanese anime, um, cartoons, comics, superheroes, figures military subjects and so forth and upon opening it up you can see you got a nice uh, photograph of the kit itself and this happens to be the Storm Kuiper Storm Kuiper okay. and very cool nice subject very nice presentation and decals and everything else is wrapped in uh, bubble wrap here with the uh, kit parts all in resin. And you can see everything is individually wrapped, which makes it very nice. Very nice packaging, uh, which makes it uh, less confusing when you're looking for pieces and parts to assemble and less apt to get damaged. Moving on with this, there's the main body. And the bottom portion of the body. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut away, and I'll be back to give you some closer shots of the parts. This is from the uh, Japanese uh, 3D animated series from a Japanese artist, Kao Yokoyama, and he was the creator of the Machine and Krieger universe. And this is the Sturmkaufer kit, and um, just to give you a close-up of the instructions here, um, like I said, it is from the Machine and Krieger universe. And uh, this is a 120th scale model kit, and it includes 95 parts, all in resin. And uh, part number is the RT2384. Um, moving with the first assembly, the first sub assembly, uh, the main body, the pilot and some of the smoke launchers in the back bottom section and then assembling the the legs themselves that simple so um, it says uh, on here 104 parts but I believe it's just 95 parts all right, I'll be back with the kit parts. Here's the main body 
of the Sturmkeifer. And uh, as you can see, it's one solid cast resin piece. Um, looking at it closely, uh, I don't see any uh, pinholes in it. And really, it's going to be hard to see any pinholes until you actually put your first coat of primer on it. But uh, very nice detail. Uh, very subtle riveting. Heavy, heavy cast resin, very thick resin. If you see here how thickly molded it is, uh, it is hollow in the middle. So it does make room for any kind of lighting if you want to throw some LED lights into the cockpit or anything like that. That would be uh, pretty cool to do. Um, the back end here, very nice. Very nice. Um, you know, your traditional models are plastic, so this is cast resin. Um, high pressure cast, it looks like, too, because there's no pinholes or anything like that in, in, the, in the resin itself. Uh, assembly is going to be done strictly with either uh, super glue, CA, or five minute epoxy. Um, and of course, your usual. Uh, if you do any sanding or trimming, you want to make sure you, you cover your, your mouth and nose from any dust particles and such. But uh, it's very nice, very nice uh, detailed here of the, of the body. And you can see it's uh, fairly large by the, by, by the size of my hand beside it. This is the bottom side of the, the main body and you can see this is where your legs would attach. And this would be the front side here about where the uh, the cockpit is and uh, once again pretty thick casting which is nice it makes it very uh, durable um, nice riveting detail exposed rivets and such um, very nice casting bag of goodies and uh, and you can see it is uh, they do have a quality control measure in place to verify the pieces and parts and make sure nothing's missing and uh, moving on here you can see some close-up of the fine details here and I'm not going to remove these out of the back so only because it's going to make my assembly, assembly more uh, easier for me when I go to build this. Lots of fine pieces here. Looks like the uh, pilot's head. a little bit but I do like the way they separate everything so you can find it easily. It's nice. 
Very nice. Nice casting. I don't see any flaws or anything so far. Look at the grading here. Very cool. Very nice. Look at that. The detail. There you have it. There's all the pieces and parts. I will post up some uh, photos at the end of this video so you can see some, some build-ups that I found on the internet. Just mocked up the body and in doing so I did uh, knock off one of the little blocks um, that needs to be removed anyway, but you can see that's how the body mounts the lower portion and also the upper portion, um, closing up the, the cockpit. And uh, this would make for a very nice lighted kit, which I will attempt to do so you can see the full details there. The sky's the limit on how much detail you'd like to put inside the, the cockpit, what instrumentation and stuff you would like to put in there, because it, it could be seen. No clear parts were given with this, so that, that can easily be made out of uh, clear acetate, clear plastic. And, uh, so there you have it.
So there you have it. This was the review of the Sturmkeifer from the Cal Yokohama Machining Breaker Universe 120th scale. You can pick it up from E246 at www.e246.com. Head over there and uh, they will ship it out to you just like I got it. I came and it came all the way from Hong Kong without any damage and I must say that the, their shipping method is is outstanding probably the best I've seen from any kit sent from Hong Kong and uh, it looks like it's gonna be a fun kit I don't see too many of them out there on the internet being built and I haven't seen any on YouTube built yet so there you have it Thanks for watching and happy modeling.